What is going on y'all? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'll go out here and do a little wood project stuff today. So it's pretty much what's gonna be going on. I have to do a wood project because I have to get rid of the stuff ready for the podcast. If you guys didn't know, we are gonna be making a separate channel. It's be called The Pinecast. Um, it's pretty much just gonna be a bunch of, honestly, don't really know. It's gonna be a bunch of like, talk about stuff that we do. Prior experiences, all that cool stuff. Um, so yeah, well, I haven't really created the channel yet, but it's gonna be going on. I'm in the process of building the uh, podcast room set up right now, which is gonna be in the office, the backside of my office. But there's some things I have to build before I can really run this thing efficiently. So I'll be looking out for updates on that if you guys want. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button um, right here. Smash that thing up. Yeah, um, I'm here in the wood shop, um, AKA my garage. Um, I'm like part-time inclined, um, just not fully. So first things first here, uh, I have some scrap wood right here, as you can see. Um, I got a not really that complicated of a thing. That's why I think I can handle it. Um, I really don't think it's going to be bad. I mean, it could turn out really freaking bad, but uh, I think it could turn out also really good. Because I'd say the, my, my strong points with woodworking, definitely sanding. Honestly, it's really not that hard. Staining. The cuts is where I struggle at a little bit just because, like, you know, if you don't do it often, you're not that good at it. But I think I would give my overall craftsmanship probably, like, 7.5 just because I try. Um, it's probably like really like a six, but you know, hey, you never know until you try. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be cutting these. So I'm actually gonna probably set the camera up so you guys can see me making these cuts. I don't know, on these, all these like DIY shows and stuff, I always see like people put like a pencil like right here in your ear. I think it makes them look smart. Um, so I'm just gonna have like a pencil right there. Let me look smart, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Uh, I think that's really the key of looking smart is that pencil right there. Make makes you look like you know what you're doing, even though I know exactly what the hell not I'm doing, so I think that makes sense. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I don't know, whatever. We're gonna figure it out together, I guess, so stay tuned, guys, and uh, let's start this wood project. All right, so one thing about this wood that I really didn't realize, it's scrap wood, so uh, I probably should've, what I probably should've done first is squared both sides. Um, I didn't do that, so it's a little uneven, there's a little uh, slight lean to it. There's a little pitch, you know, so. Uh, basically what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna have to probably cut a little bit off square each side up and then uh, that should be it I'm gonna put them together sand them down a little bit Probably throw a little stain on them and call it a freaking year So hopefully we're not doing this too much longer. Hopefully I can get it right. Like I said guys not a professional woodworker um, My dad on the other hand he he kicks some butt with some wood me. I kind of am just like a hack um, still learning um, There's so much to learn. Like I said, I'm more of a detail type person and to get in the cuts and stuff like that but um also like it's not my forte it's not like what i do a lot so uh, i'm just out here messing around with some power tools which probably can be a good and bad thing one could be learning something two could probably freaking we're not even going to get into that but anyways um i'm gonna try and level these things out so uh, this thing stands straight because if i can't get that right i'm an idiot all right so i pretty much got these things as assembled now before i show you guys these um check out the sawdust pretty cool before I show you guys these, all right, so I didn't really give a, a damn what they looked like. Like, I'm really not really trying to have craftsmanship on these. Honestly, the worse they look, the more pine side they are, um, actually. But um, no, so I didn't really care what they look like. I was just trying to get some something so I can attach my mic stands to. I'm probably gonna stain them a little bit. Um, I really don't, like I said, I really don't care. They're pretty janky looking, like, this is all I needed. And obviously, it's not gonna make sense to you guys right now. But when you guys see, like, when I show you guys where it's gonna be at, um, like this one's the most janky. I th Honestly, I think this one looks the best and it's the most jankiest just because it's like, it, it kind of just fits the theme of my room. Um, so like, it's pretty janky. Like you got like wood glue on this thing, like uneven cuts, which I didn't care. I literally was messing around with scrap wood and didn't feel like really messing around and like making it super nice. Um, just because like, I really don't care. Like it really doesn't matter to me. Like the quality of these just because like they're literally just holding a mic and you probably won't even see them. I'm literally just using them as a prop to hold things up. I really don't care. Judge me. I really think I could have done a lot better on these if I really wanted to. Um, I made these about 20 minutes. So like, I mean, I'm going to sand them down a little bit and I'm going to throw a little stain on them. Um, just to throw some stain on them because I have nothing else better to do right now. Definitely going to stain these. I'll probably sand them. And then I'm going to show you guys when I'm done sanding these and i'm done um sanding them i'll show you where they're going to go in the room and you guys really understand why the hell it doesn't matter what they look like because they probably won't even you won't even see them realistically they're just literally 
stand and I really don't care what they look like. Pretty much today is just gonna be adventure. I think we're going out, gonna do some uh, quote unquote hiking. Maybe, I don't know. We're also gonna get some shots for Pineside. So we're gonna turn, just turn this whole thing into an adventure. Um, so yeah, also over here, we got the, the podcast set up right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but we're gonna be filming some podcasts. So if you guys wanna give this new podcast channel a little subscribe as well, I'm gonna um, link it down in the description down below. And uh, it's the, the Pinecast, so guys, go check that out. We'll be uploading there weekly, very soon. We're in the middle of filming some episodes. So once those get started um, and uploaded, you guys will be able to watch them and enjoy them. I'm sure, I'm also, I think they'll be listed on Spotify as well. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I know for sure they'll definitely be on YouTube. So uh, go show that account some love and uh, see you guys on out there. What is this fit you're wearing? It's a flannel vest. Don't trip and fall. <laughs> Coming soon, guys. Look, you got the pine side patch you got on it. Cool. The cut job could be a little better. It's kind of a hack. But... Back in my day, back in my prime, you guys want to know, I was a All-American t-ball player. True story, so I was playing t-ball at the right age of, I don't know, like six or seven. I was on first base. So this is a true story, I ain't making this is no bullshit. And uh, some kid like grabbed my pants and started yanking on, so I quit. How much money are you gonna give me if I jump down this thing? Well, that's a pretty steep drop. How much? Say you're not gonna do it. How you don't think I'm gonna do it? No, because I'm not bringing you to the hospital. No, we're gonna do it right now. Ready? Three, two, one. A steep jump, I'll tell you that. It was a real steep jump, but uh, as you can see, we made it down here safe and sound. One piece, no broken bones yet. Um, so, I mean, what else could what else could be better than uh, you know jumping down like a 30 foot drop and then uh, making it down here on your two feet? Didn't even fall, so I didn't even scratch on me. There was one time we were down in this stream and uh, it was me, Big Joe, and a couple other guys. We were younger. We were catching like crayfish and stuff in this creek. Sal, man, we had a bucket full of stuff. And um, we were walking, it was like a bridge like this, like a wood bridge of a tree that fell over. And we were all walking over, but we realized that there's a bunch of nets like in between. As we're in between as we're walking, we're like, why the hell are there a bunch of nets? Well, we're stepping over. I stepped over, a couple of people stepped over. Big Joe was the last person to step over this, this log. Just like this, but it was a little bit higher. It was like dammed up. Well, apparently there was a big beehive there and he stepped on it. He got stung probably about 46 times. All I remember him saying, like I swear to God, this is what happens. He steps on it, all here is mother sucker run. And this dude took up, up all the way up here, all the way up there and ran down that thing. He had like 40 something welts on him. And after this video, like I'm gonna ask him about the same question later and you guys will see what I'm talking about. But he got stung up pretty bad. It was pretty funny. Yeah, so it's raining outside. So that lasted why it did. It's pretty nice though. It's like definitely different. Scenic out there, you know, you got all them dead trees. Cool we'll get out there, get some fresh air. You know, it's sometimes hard to get some fresh air when you're stuck up in an office doing office work or whatever you want to call it. But I was actually gonna go fishing today. I was gonna shoot some cool fishing video, but uh I didn't want to be stranded on my boat in the middle of a storm and you know, that's never fun. That's happened to me before. I've been stuck in the middle of a lake when it's thunder and lightning, and that's what they're calling for. So, went to plan B and did a little uh, little hike, you know. Got out of the house a little bit before the big storm came in, and uh, yeah, everyone was injured. No one got eaten by a bear, um, fortunately, but you never know. Got a little left of this dunking thing. I'm all jacked up on some cold brew right now. I honestly like, I just need cold brews. Like, cold brews like liquid crack. And I don't, like, not like I know what crack, I've never done crack, but if I had to guess, crack would be like this in liquid form. Um, just cause I've seen like crackheads do things. I've seen crackheads before. And uh, it definitely gives you crackhead energy. So, um, Duncan, if you guys, you know, want to promote crack, I would call this liquid crack. Like if I own a coffee shop, I just say, yeah, Yo, you want the liquid crack? All right, so we obviously know that the weather was getting crazy, so we had to get in, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We did wind up some crazy storms, and actually here in PA now, it just pushed all the cold air, and it's getting super cold here. So 
I'm definitely gonna be filming some sick fishing videos coming up. Um, we'll be doing some collabs. You'll see what I'm gonna be collabing with guys. And uh, also, right now working on set, we're on the Pinecast. We're getting ready to film our first episode. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, it's uh, Pinecast, the Pinecast. You guys will see, it's like a yellow background, some black. I'll leave that in the description down below. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll leave a little um, extra part of the Pinecast, a little teaser in the end if you guys say it all at the end. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.